dividend. That's right. You claim anyway. Look like she part. It's already yours. It's already yours. Look like she was part of the Cosby family. <laughs> you got work to do right now. You know. <laughs> you know, the pleasure comes later, man. We got, we got, we got see, that's how they always do you, too. Why y'all cussing with the Bible? I don't believe in the Bible. I don't believe in the Bible. Yeah. But what? She actually says she don't believe in God, man. She don't even believe in the Most High. That's good, though. I'd rather a motherfucker say they don't than a motherfucker say they do. Esau got her fucked up. That's all. Right. Yeah, Jehovah's Witness was up there. So, she was like, Esau got her fucked up. The nigga woman. See, that's the thing. They answer no questions for you. You, may, you fuck with Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> you see what Jehovah's Witness does with people? <laughs> Jehovah's Witness got her head messed up. They think it's another question. Yeah, these Jehovah's Witness, yup. They ain't so full of shit. She's cool. Hey, she's smart now. Oh, yeah. She's a little cutie, though, but. She's a little demon, head. though. If you had her in your house, she'd be getting on your nerves. It's not that bad. Well, that's why you keep the dick in there. Yeah, it has to stay in there. Otherwise, she's going to talk. <laughs> you can't have that. <laughs> Keep bending that bitch over, man. Keep yeah, that's all you. You don't have to be stay on that one. Yeah, you, you know, if you don't, uh, somebody else will. You mean something else will? A whole a something. <laughs> something else will. That's why the girls always say, like, I want a pony. Oh, you got little girls oh, that are begging yeah. for the pony. <laughs> why why oh. did they always, why is oh. always the girls to beg for a pony? Yeah. Damn. Mm. I never thought about it like that. Mm. 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 <laughs> That's the nigga. Mom, yeah, she was all kind of messed up. Sorry, now, I got scripture for this. I got scripture. That's all. Cool. I'm gonna get the old classic. I mean, cause the, the basic scriptures, you just can't, you can't veer away from the basic scriptures. You got to stick to the basic. It's like we go back to the sports analogy. You got to stick to fundamentals. When you shoot that jumper, you gotta keep your elbow straight. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta keep it the basics. That's why we give you milk. Yep. Uh, so it can go down easy and smooth. Uh, uh, Proverbs 9 and 13. <laughs> a foolish woman is clamorous. She Wait, is. Hold on. Read it again. What I'll, scripture is this so they know? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Proverbs 9 and 13. Let me read it again. Proverbs 9 and 13. A foolish woman is clamorous. So let's talk about a foolish woman. She is simple and knoweth nothing. She don't know shit. <laughs> nothing. What so you called, cussing? Uh, yeah. A so-called woman call? don't know nothing. <laughs> you feel me? And if you got a woman pastor, Ooh. She's really going off. Oh. <laughs> Cause she really don't know nothing. Oh. If she knew anything, she wouldn't be up there. <laughs> really, when you really think about it. <laughs> hey, let me get the scripture. Cause we gotta back up what we say. <laughs> I mean, we just gonna read the Bible. Cause you got people, you got uh, you got Bible revisionists now. They're revisionists. They revise. Well, that was two thousand years ago. We're just modernizing our beliefs. And making it more in line with contemporary thoughts. <laughs> you know, it was how to get married on the shoes of promises. Man, she's doing this in Street's teaching. Right, right. Just that bitch one just come no, out. Hey, they always, the H women always have a man in their presence, you know what I mean? Yeah, she always. Just, she just talked to us, she felt that machismo spirit. Yeah, they feel come around us, they, they, we got that spirit. Yeah, I heard the person on the phone tell, you better get away from them. Uh, uh, you see, she didn't want to. Yeah, she didn't nah. want to. But when you got demons in your ear, that's what happened. But that's what. Better for a millstone be tied around their neck, man. And when you really think about it, you come out here doing this work, we could have done hooked up with all kind of women doing this work. Yeah. But first, you got to do the truth comes first before you get one of these raggedy hoes, though. You know? Work. Wow. We talked to a lot of women doing this. Actually, actually. we talked to more women. Yeah, more, probably more women than men. You're probably right. <laughs> Maybe forget my script. Uh, uh, I was like, oh, that's what I was gonna get. I got, it, I got, it, I got. It. I'm gonna read this real quick. This is Psalms 110. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Oh, yep. So when we get our power, then the women won't fall. Cause we ain't worried about no women understanding the truth. Wait, your husband. Sorry, we're not. We're only, your boyfriend. That's a, that's a nice color on him though. He had a gospel child. He had the, she had the butterscotch husband. You have a threesome. Yeah, that's a... You know, she got some money, too. 
That was that other rich that you might bitch that smell like weed too. <laughs> they probably live in the same spot. Man, you, 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 you gotta have money to live down here. I guarantee them condos are probably four G's a month. I looked them up. I looked them up. I went right past them. Oh, whoa, whoa. Motherfucker, not this much money. I have a house. That ain't money, man. That ain't shit. That ain't, that's not even real. That's $4,000 a month is nothing to you, devil's right. Right. And you know, I knew Jake's that make that money. You that's know? five months. I was looking that's at houses in months German Village. <laughs> they had like just a German raggedy ass German Village. They was charging two G's was like the lowest price. Yeah. Two G's a month? Like, damn. That's fucking crazy. You can't even afford to live out yeah. here. That's fucking crazy. You complaining about rent. Rent the 500. Is the 500 <laughs> is like the <laughs> cheapest you ever going to get. And it's going to be in the hood. And it's, and it's crazy because that 500 is a lot of money. But you know what? I'd rather pay the 500 just live in the hood. Yeah. To be honest with you. I'd rather live in the hood anyway. Fuck really? That, man. He saw me come down. He got all kind of orders and laws and looking around you, man. Piece of trash in your door, man. They, they on your the ass. They on your ass, yeah. Excuse ass. me. Uh, uh, but you see, I told you what they're doing. They're doing a the gentrification on the west side. On the bottom. The bottoms is the nastiest, one of the nastiest neighborhoods in the city. But they got they trying to gentrify, get all the people out, and they're trying to they trying to move in on the rich Edomites. They they been the cops have been going to the city, they're going to every house, giving them notices, tickets, telling them to fix this, fix that, or you're out, or you got to pay thousand dollar fine. You know, can't afford to fix none of that shit. And he don't want to anyway. He don't even get his deposit back. <laughs> Man, Jay get his deposit. Oh, oh, did Jay get any money? You know what he's buying with that first. You know how Jake do it. Jay get his taxes back. First thing he buys a big ass bag of weed. That's Man, the that's first what thing I'm looking for. I'm talking about a big ass bag. Hey, can I have some of my favorite candy? I'll listen to what you guys say. Uh -huh. We gotta keep that stuff hidden, bro. We got it all out in the open. It's like for us. You should buy this truth, you know what I'm saying? For free. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm a man. Is this Katie Ray? Reese the Cut. Let's get a man a Reese the Cut. Come on, man. He asked you to receive. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> you know, you know, uh, you know, last time.